Hello, anybody, somebody, nobody, whoever may never see this. This is Zephyr Dogs Under Faust, the with. Come back and see some more Warhammer 40k. This is going to be part one in a four part series with the updated Warhammer 40k faction armies, all 26 that I have, that I have done up to the data slate that came out recently. This is going to go up on, what's the date? On February 22nd, so I think it was about three weeks ago or so. The data slate FAQ update, three to four weeks. And so I'm going to be uh, show showcasing all these armies. Some of them are close to what have been used in meta tournaments some of them are not actually so you might get some surprises here i've played with a chunk of them but not nearly all of them yet i've been a bit of a groove of not playing warmer 40k and trying out other games which have been a blast i would like to get on 40k but i need to get more time work more money under my belt uh i'm trying to even get a better job honestly or a job it's looking like soon so i've been distracted i'm going to zoom in here in case you want to read this you could pause the video I'm going to put descriptions in this video and my other parts. They're going to be covering, again, Imperium Space Marines, Non-Space Marines, Chaos, and Xenos. Um, for where you can get these mods on Tabletop Simulator and my Battle Scribe lists on Google Drive. So you can just uh, plug and play for yourself. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh, and if you liked the video, please hit that little like button. It's not much, but I don't really put out much content. And so it, it is pretty nice, warm, fuzzy if I get anybody at all to even like my stuff it's pretty nice i appreciate it and share with your friends in case they may want to subscribe to see more of this kind of content in my older videos for ninth edition so black templars so the black templars uh templars tam tamponlers uh yes i still run the 20 man blobs of primary crusader squads it is so nice um i could get more gladiator lancers you will see them in a lot of space marines because surprise it's pretty good for the points value um and you don't have to go oath a moment for it uh they are for all these gonna be mostly blue you see blue things in a lot of places it's like well that's not ultramarines well yeah but i don't want to just get the same model and find the black variant sometimes it's not available quickly and i just can't be bothered because i have so much i'm doing so uh, deal with it complain in the comments so i have some interactive uh ness with my viewers <laughs> uh so other news that's kind of going to bring down the anti-tank capability but i have two renos the rhinos are going to have the emperor's champion and high marshal helbrecht in them leading their sword brethren squads which would be nice and it's going to have mixed weapons of course and then you're going to have grimaldus with the castellan in two separate squads castellan is going to have uh helmets bones so it's going to be giving them a five up feel no pain grimaldus and the other one five up feel no pain just a chunky thing of space marines big meme and then some scouts and the intercessors the reason for the scouts is to try and make it so you can um be on midfield in case there's some armies that require if they have like necrons or demons or some other armies if they control the majority of midfield they'll get a bonus and so that makes it round one of the game you're just not auto handing that over um for your opponent so that's very nice just to have one scout or infiltrator unit and yeah that's black templars the uh, thing for the list is that it's basically just gonna be very tanky to go through all these marines so that the dictate okay do i want to hit one of the rhinos if so you smoke and if they're not gonna be dumping to the rhinos then that's perfectly fine and even if they somehow wipe one of these squads guess what rhinos have oc so you can just woo scooby-doo out of there and i, I imagine the scooby-doo sound effect when they're running like don't know don't know and just go back and hold that point and now they still have to hit that rhino next round you can still spend one cp to smoke just to make their life annoying otherwise it's a free objective all right moving on next to dark angels dank angels heresy fallen what fallen uh two gladiator lancers i think a stern guard stun god with i believe azrael is going to go with them belial with the night deathwing night spam um this is one squad of six Blackwing Knights, because you're going to have Samael with that, and then two for three, because of leftover points. And I actually have Lionel Johnson. Um, I'm going to have a spoiler here. The only thing that's not in my Space Marine army, uh, this one, is Gilliman. I don't think it's a good call. I think Lionel Johnson makes the cut, and he's kind of cool. There might be a slight more meta to not have him in there, but he hits decently hard, hard to put down, gives some buffs, and... I think he's overall worth it. Um, he's a great character killer, so I just decided to include him in the list because it's going to get kind of boring if you don't have any cool models in any of your armies. 
So, you know, it's a good excuse to run the lion. But yeah, the Dark Angels. Oh, I'll put this out as, here as well. This is with their detachment. Yes, you. C I could build some of these lists, like Space Wolves. I can do build them way better if I don't use their own detachment. But that kind of feels weird because uh, you may notice there's only six armies here versus I don't have Iron Hands and Salamanders, and Imperial Fists, etc. Because they don't have a Codex and the attachments that are available don't call them out and they're not the greatest thing for them anyway. You, it is very debatable that Vanguard is better for Iron Hands than the actual Iron Hands attachment. So it's somewhat annoying and depressing that I don't feel the incentivization to use the unique models. So if I'm going to unique them, use the unique models, I'm going to use the unique uh, detachment for them. Uh, so again, there are better detachments available. I just don't have that. And so that would be factored in for some major changes for a few armies, not all of them, a few armies, because it's just, it's not the best option to use for tournament setting, but it does flush out best within their own detachment, their own detachment rules. Uh, booty angels, booty, 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 rocking everywhere. Uh, I have a big meme. Wait, where is he? Uh, brother Curbelo, uh, because he can go with uh, devastators and give them a five up field no pain. So I think it's funny to have a five up field no pain on all my devastators. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Um, Astarath with one death company and then the what is it? Uh, Lamartes with the other one. Now one of them has hammers, the other's chain swords. Um, let me see which one it is. Because the, uh, the hammers have dev wounds on hit. So you want to give one of the characters with the other squad because it provides them a better bonus. Uh, so Lamartes is lethal hits. And then Astarath is dev wounds. Yeah, so give dev Astarath to the chain swords, Lamartes to the hammers. Best of both worlds. Um, and then Sanguinary Guard, Dante, it's decent, it's cool, you know, people that if you are an IRL Blood Angels player, you've got to have Sanguinary Guard, I don't believe you if you say you don't, and so, you know, it gives you an excuse to use them, uh, it's annoying, oh, uh, they're not, <laughs> it's, they've kind of been outshined, it went from bringing as many as you can to like, you know, just bring one squad, is the Sanguinary Priest, he can't go with Sanguinary Guard, <laughs> it, really irks me i feel like that is an easy if uh, faq hotfix he should be able to go with dante um to do that and while they're doing that they should kind of drop firstborn because firstborn are just being super overshadowed um it's making me kind of sad but it, that i know is uh going against what i just said because also sanguinor because he's funny um because he is only for the firstborn so that gives you use to use him but it's just not meta and you would have to have, I don't know, I think you should go from rule of three to rule of two. That'll make, force people to flush out their armies with more diversity. I think it'll be much healthier for the game. Um, all right, moving on to Spesmarens. Uh, it's gonna be Ultramarines because Lamal, Kalgar. Uh, you could run uh, Salamanders actually for uh, Histon Vulcan, or whatever his name is. And not like the Primarch, but there's some other dude. And uh, they've got a good Dreadnought available. I don't remember if they got Legend or not. It might have been. Um, but this is going to be, uh, let's see, two squads of Devastators. Yeah. And uh, each squad is going to have an Apothecary as well. And it's Vanguard, so you're going to be getting Stealth, Light Cover, and they're going to be Reviving Models. You have a bunch of dudes that can die. You can lose this, 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 this. And this before your actual firepower starts going down. And then in the Devastators, though, I actually made them bring Heavy Bolters. Heavy Bolters are one last, uh, last cannon because you can use, um, was previously mentioned, the other squads for factions, the Armorium Cherub slash Ammo Cherub to uh, give you a uh, six. So that'll help you in the first like one to two rounds if you use that against uh, a big bad. And then, you know, from there, it's whatever. And then you can even ditch that guy just for the heavy bolters. The reason I keep the heavy bolters is because I think the army doesn't have as much uh, shrugging of little dudes for damage. Um, it's just, it feels like that is the better option, which is really strange to say.
but there's heavy uh it's heavy and it's getting sustained hits so they can just camp on the objectives and what is it the um i think there's a stratagem to boost your shooting as well and so i think it's you get lethal hits and so lethal hits with just all these sustained hits it's just very nice is that or dev wounds or something i know there's a method to my madness uh Calgar with the blade guard um because he's just gonna be a brick um that people are gonna have to deal with and then two things of eradicators because why not along with one thing of inceptors yes the points went up but it's still so good to meet your strike if they don't keep their um one model if it is one model or unit covering the full three inches for the uh if it's not in the center of one of their backline objectives surprise da -da 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 -da. you just go all the way to the back line and just take their objective from them uh and then even if you don't kill them you don't kill them off of it guess what you might have more bodies unless you win by oc so it's still your objective big meme uh now we're gonna go to death watch uh death watch has gone up and down this is probably one of two lists out of the 26 that i could get argued with for changing um brutalis was just kind of the best way to fit in points to uh, watch masters each one is going to have uh, uh upgrade the tome of escalades and the other one has thief of secrets on here i gave actually uh, back to space marines i think i gave the ghost shroud to an apothecary but that was just because there was leftover points i don't think anything else really has anything i call out that i haven't already discussed um they do have a, some bolter strats and multiple options and some hidden tankiness and stuff it's really weird this is maximizing your cover and trying to win the infantry trade-off with your uh two i forget if it's proteus kill teams um and then of course gladiator lancers the health strikes also improve your shooting as well i'm pretty sure it's because they are built in rule uh yeah all everything that hits them gets an extra ap so it makes all your bolters even better um and you're gonna need it uh it's unfortunate i think it's a pretty weak army maybe the weakest space marine one it has some really good trade-offs um it does better into like eldar and guard infantry spam this is just deadly to guard and sister infantry spam uh it's very good but i don't know uh I, I a lot of these armies i like their ninth edition variants better uh space wolves a uh, woo woo um i'm gonna have one wolf guard unit to be hanging out with Uric the slayer uh the tech priest is gonna be hanging out because there's just three lancers and three ve uh two venerable dreadnoughts and bjorn so lots of heals available one six squad of thunder wolves with harold death wolf uh oh and then some wolfen because they're funny um and scepters because still good the wolfen yes oc zero but there was a recent upgrade to their hammer um unfortunately i'm gonna point it out here is not been done yet on battle scribe but their hammer is damage two so anyone who plays this it's damage two uh be aware um i might even make a little note just to help people but yeah they're hammer is much better now and if you choose saga of majesty i believe it is um you can actually grant them oc because it bumps your entire army's oc up by one so it goes from zero to one boy they gotta find in death you throw them into a block like you throw them into over here the space marine blade guard veterans or some custodies and it's okay if you lose the trade because you get a four up fight on death and so you can get some big funnies even if your opponent gets fight has fight first or some other stuff they can actually be a good buffer zone just even a tar pit if you got to throw away something that way you can throw them away versus some better key things so for space wolves people do run more thunder wolves but again they run it with vanguard and other detachments and i'm sticking just to the space wolf detachment so with that in mind this is the list i built and bjorn still slaps i feel like venerable dreadnoughts should be t10 i don't know it just they have eight wounds it just feels kind of weird I don't know they're just not as nearly as tanky as i'd like them to be it's a little annoying uh it is funny though that they have a four up in vol because of blizzard shield so as long as your rolls aren't completely booty cheeks um they should be pretty tanky with t9 eight wounds four up in vol two up save god forbid they're behind a ruin and they get plus one to their armor save 
uh, they might be saving on twos against half the stuff that comes at them. So, they could potentially just be extremely fucking tanky. Uh, and their melee isn't necessarily too bad. The Great Axe Sweep is Strength 6, AP 2 for 1. I don't think it's got any special rules for either, no. But the, the big attack is Strength 10, AP 2, Damage 6 plus 1, 5 of those bad boys. So, they could just roll up to a lot of monsters, and if you roll high, you'll just delete it. Um... Let's say you lose one attack between the hits and the wounds. You go down to three. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, in hits and wounds, they make one save. Then if they take two of those attacks, it averages out to three and four. So that's seven plus one plus one. That's nine damage. So they could just take out another one. Or if you rolled high, that's like maybe 12 damage. So they can actually bibbity bop a tank, a Lehman Russ, if you roll well. Very nice. Uh, but yeah. That's the Space Marines. Uh, stay tuned in or just click above and this little video will either roll over into the part two, which will be the Imperium non-Space Marines, or I'll have other videos there available you can click on as you wish. Take care and game on gamers. And again, if you can like, share, and subscribe, it'd really make my day. See you later.